Do you ever wonder why you feel like crap every winter? You've no doubt heard of seasonal affective disorder, commonly referred to SAD. Some of your symptoms may include lack of energy, fatigue, depression, insomnia, brain fog, weight gain, and a variety of other issues. No doubt your doctor did a barrage of tests and ultimately concluded you were depressed and stated you need to be on an SSRI or some other type of antidepressant. In this case though, the test needed is a hydroxyvitamin D blood test to determine if you are in fact low in vitamin D. A level of 20 nanograms to 50 nanograms is considered adequate for healthy people. A level less than 12 nanograms indicates a vitamin D deficiency. The best way for your body to absorb vitamin D is through sun exposure. 15 minutes of sunbathing in the summer will give you approximately 10,000 IUs of vitamin D. In the winter, the sun just isn't strong enough for the body to produce vitamin D if you live north of the 33rd parallel, which is the southern United States. Vitamin D does occur in food like fish and dairy, but the amounts typically consumed are generally not enough to correct a vitamin D deficiency. So that brings me to supplementation. Now everybody will respond differently to supplementing with vitamin D and the results will vary depending on dosage. Taking D alone can cause its own set of symptoms or make current symptoms more severe. This seems to be true in cases where individuals have Hashimoto's or other types of thyroid disorders. It seems many do much better on a dose of 1,000 IUs of vitamin D a day with the addition of K2, magnesium glycinate, and vitamin A. The recovery may be slower, but this protocol may reduce negative adverse symptoms. Alternatively, one can invest in UVB bulbs and expose yourself daily. A less expensive option is to visit a tanning facility and request a UVB bed. With short, infrequent exposure for a few weeks in the gloomiest part of the winter, one can minimize any harmful effects of tanning while building up the body's production of vitamin D. It may take some time to figure out what works for each individual, but if you're diligent in your quest for optimal vitamin D levels, you can start to feel better soon, oftentimes feeling great. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below.